Hey guys, I'm a six-year software engineer, more focused on back-end than front-end to be precise. And today I wanted to share my personal thoughts about the things I've learned, the experiences I've gone through and the mentality I adopted while shaping my career. Whether you're just starting out or already a few years in, I hope this video will help you see things in a new way. I didn't come from a traditional computer science background. I don't have a CS degree and to be honest, when I first started that really intimidated me. I thought not having that formal education would hold me back, that people wouldn't take me seriously or that I wouldn't be able to keep up with those who had studied computer science in school. But here's the reality. You don't need a CS degree to become a software engineer, or at least is what I think today. I know we could open an immense debate, but let's say that CS degree is not the key for getting a job as a developer. What you need is the willingness to learn, the courage to fail and the determination to keep going even when things feel overwhelming. At first, I felt like an imposter, especially when I compared myself to others who had formal training. But I realized pretty quickly that coding is something you learn by doing, not just by sitting in classroom. So instead of being afraid of what I didn't know, I leaned into it. The truth is, nobody knows everything in this field. And the best engineers I've worked with are the ones who aren't afraid to ask questions, experiment, or admit when they don't know something. Don't let fear or failure or fear of not having a degree hold you back. The industry is full of self-taught developers. And if you're willing to put in the work and stay curious, you can absolutely make it. So for anyone who feels like they don't belong in this field because of their background, whether you didn't study computer science or you're transitioning from another career, trust me, that doesn't define your ability to succeed. What matters is your passion for learning and your willingness to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to start, don't be afraid to fail, and most importantly, don't be afraid to keep going. I've learned in my six years as a software engineer that continuous learning is key. Technology evolves fast and if you want to stay competitive, you have to keep learning new skills and practicing regularly. Early on, I made it a habit to dedicate time each day to improving my coding skills. And I can honestly say it's one of the most important things that has contributed to my career growth. In this field, consistency is everything. Whether it's sticking with a programming language, mastering a framework, or exploring new technologies. Being consistent helps you stay sharp and prepared for the ever-changing demands of the industry. Over the years, I've worked hard to stay proficient in the core languages I use, while also making time to learn new frameworks or tools as they become relevant. This approach has really helped me adapt to a different projects and job roles. Another thing to keep in mind is that staying up to date is crucial. The tech world is fast paced and things can change quickly. New frameworks pop up, old ones evolve and best practices shift. You need to stay informed whether it's through reading, experimenting with new tech or just practicing consistently. I have learned that making learning a daily habit, even for just 30 minutes, can have a huge impact on your progress and keep you from falling behind. As I mentioned earlier, practicing every day has been one of the key things that helped me grow as a software engineer. I still dedicate at least 30 minutes to an hour each day to improving my skills. The question I get asked a lot is, what platforms do you use? Well, there are quite a few good ones out there. CodeGym, CodeCademy, Hyperscale, all solid options. But recently I've been using something that really stands out for me, and that's Scrimba which also happens to be the sponsor of today's video. Scrimba is an interactive platform that's designed for building real-world coding skills. 
perfect for anyone who's serious about starting or advancing their software engineering career. It offers hands-on practice with a unique approach, almost like you're coding directly inside the platform with the real-time guidance. One of the best parts about Screenba is that it focuses on career paths, specifically the front-end developer career path. This isn't just about random tutorials. This is a structured learning experience that takes you from the fundamentals all the way to building real projects. And trust me, these projects are the kind of things you'll actually use in a real software engineering job. If you're looking to invest in your growth as a developer, platforms like Screenba are well worth it. And just for you guys, there is a 20% discount waiting for you in the description below. And you'll be on your way to mastering front-end development or whatever your coding journey takes you. So my advice is simple, invest your time and your money wisely. Choose the platforms that gives you real value and helps you apply what you're learning every day. Screenby is one of those platforms for me and I think it could be for you too. In software engineering, you're going to fail, a lot. Whether it's a bug you can figure out, a project that didn't go as planned, or a job interview that didn't go well, failure is inevitable. Early on, I used to get really frustrated when things didn't work out. But over time, I realized that failure is where the real learning happens. Every time I failed, I learned something new, whether it's a better way to approach a problem, a new tool, or even just developing the patience to push through challenges. The truth is, nobody get it right the first time. The best engineers are the ones who fail, learn from it, and come back stronger. When you're debugging, for example, failure is part of the process. You try different solutions and most of them won't work right away. But with every wrong attempt, you're one step closer to understanding the problem. This is something that applies to everything in your career, not just coding. From interviews to projects, you'll face setbacks. But instead of letting that discourage you, use it as motivation to improve. Every failure is an opportunity to grow. So don't be afraid of making mistakes. Whether you're just starting out or have been coding for years, failure is part of the journey. It's how you respond to failure that matters. If you can learn to embrace it and keep moving forward, you'll become a better developer and more importantly, you'll build resilience. This is something a lot of people overlook when they're starting out in software engineering, especially with the idea that all tech jobs pay big right off the bat. And while it's true that there is a lot of potential for great pay in this field, it's important to realize that your first job might not be that dream salary you're hoping for. And that's okay. In the beginning of my career, I had to take on jobs that weren't exactly high paying, but they offered me something even more valuable experience. Sometimes you have to start with a role that lets you learn and grow, even if the paycheck isn't what you imagined. The key is to focus on what you're gaining in skills and experience, rather than just what you're making in salary. For example, my first job wasn't a big tech company with a fancy salary package. It was a smaller company where I got to wear a lot of different hats. I worked on backend systems, learned about databases and even dabbled in some DevOps. I wouldn't have had that kind of exposure in a more specialized, higher paying role. It was the experience I gained there that helped me land better paying jobs later. Building a solid foundation early in your career is more important than chasing a big paycheck right away. 
accepting a job that pays less but gives you the opportunity to learn and grow can set you up for long-term success. As you gain more skills and experience, the money will come. So don't be afraid to start humble. Sometimes the best opportunities come from jobs where you can learn a lot even if they don't pay as well in the beginning. It's about playing the long game, focusing on growth and making sure you're building a strong foundation for the future. Building side projects and ideas is mandatory in a software engineer career. I can't stress enough how important it is. When you're working at a job, you'll often be focused on specific tasks and projects that fit the company's needs. But your side projects are where you get to explore, experiment and really push your skills. When I was starting out, I built small projects that helped me practice when I was learning and try out new technologies. The point was to practice coding in a real-world context, make mistakes and figure out how to fix them. Through these side projects, I ended up learning more than I ever did from tutorials alone. When you're applying for jobs, especially early in your career, having personal projects on your resume or GitHub can make a huge difference. Employers love to see that you're passionate about coding outside of your day job or studies. It shows initiative, creativity, and a willingness to go beyond the minimum requirements. Plus, side projects are a great way to keep your skills sharp and stay up to date with the latest tools and frameworks. The tech industry moves fast and side projects give you the flexibility to experiment with new things without waiting for work assignments. They don't have to be perfect or even fully finished. The goal is to explore, learn and keep practicing. Over time, these small projects will add up and help you become a better, more well-rounded developer. And who knows, one of them might even turn into a startup or a passion project you can take to the next level.